So for their breaking of the covenant, we cursed them and made their hearts harden. They distort words from their places and have forgotten a portion of what they were reminded. And you will still observe deceit among them, except a few of them. Pardon them and overlook their misdeeds. Instead, Alan loves to do as a friend. Which was that, 13 or 14? Uh, 13. Read the next one as well. 14, yeah. And from those who say we are Christians, we took their covenant, but they forgot a portion of that of which they were reminded. So we caused among them animosity and hate until the day of resurrection, and Allah is going to inform them about what they used to do. So basically he's saying change the words from the right places. That is a corruption of the scriptures. And this is referring to the Christians. So Allah clearly says in the Quran that your books have been corrupted already. Look at the ancient manuscripts at the time of Muhammad of the Bible. They match the Bible we have today in our possession. How do you know? Uh, not, 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 not just, uh, what was the ancient manuscript during the time of Muhammad? Yes. No, 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 what is it called? The manuscript that was in the time of Muhammad. What is it called? The Sinaiticus of Vaticanus. I'll tell you what. Let's, let's discuss, of let's discuss we've said it. what we know rather than what we think we know. Well, Sinaiticus of Vaticanus. So go. The Codex Vaticanus, do you think it's the same as, uh, as, as the Gospel today? It's a gospel. No, no, sorry. Do you think the Codex Vaticanus? Have you ever looked at it? Let me ask you. Have you ever looked at it? Bro, let me ask you. Have you ever looked at it? You see, if you're going to talk like that, then we won't get anywhere. Have you ever looked at it? Yes, exactly. Look at the way he's talking. That tone, you know, I would rather talk to you. Okay. Do you know about the Codex Vaticanus? I know about it. Okay, do you know about the Codex Sinaiticus? I've just told you. Yeah, I've looked at it. Have you? Okay, I did. The Codex Sinaiticus, tell me the extra books in there. There were extra books, yeah. What are they? You said you looked into it. Tell me what they were. Extra books, yeah. What are they? Yeah. I can't remember what the extra books are. I'll tell you what they were. The Codex Sinaiticus has two extra books. Two extra books. The Shepherd of Hermes yeah. and the Epistle of Barnabas. Yeah. Are they in your Bible today? No. So no. We, what does it tell you? Do you know why? No, no, what does it tell you? No, do you know why? The Bible at no. that time, the oldest Bible you have today in existence, is not the same as your Bible today. Yeah. The Bible today, it doesn't just have extra verses, it has extra books in it. That raises a big question. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, it does. Yeah, but why were those books there? No, no. First, you need to admit that the books you have today, the Bible the you have question. today, Answer the question. I am. You the Bible the you have today is not the same as no. the Codex Sinaiticus, which is your earliest available exchange. Right. Codex and entire books. Get the oh, can, I, can I come back here? Yeah. Oh, is that you, the KJV? Can I come back here? Yeah. Yeah. Can I come back here? The sign. You know the Masoretic text. Can I come the earliest here? manuscript? Yeah. Can I come back here? Yeah. Can I come back here? Yeah. Can I come back to what? Can I answer my question? No, let me just answer. When you say the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, right? And you say in these other books, are these other books the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, or is Sinaiticus and Vaticanus in reference to the manuscripts of the Gospels and other letters? Say, say your question again. When you say the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, yes. right? When we read the NIV yes. or any Bible, yeah. right? Is the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus about the Gospels or these other books? Are those other books part of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus? Are you saying or, the Gospels are not in there? No, you're not listening to me. I'm listen, asking you listen, a question. No, I'm asking, it's a simple question. Need to get defensive. No, it's down. a simple question, right? Yeah, exactly, a simple question. Because you're making a mistake. Okay. When you're saying Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, yes. right? It's, it's not just in ref. You're saying that those extra books are part of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus. They are. Right, right. But the Gospels and the other epistles were different from those other letters. Yeah, yeah exactly. My so that's point. why. But that's why they're not in the Gospel in no, no, the Bible. Today. My point is, look, at that time, that was considered to be the holy book of God. The Sinaiticus in the fourth century was considered to be a book. No, no? prove it. Prove it. Wait a minute. Are you saying that prove Bible, no, the Sinaiticus, no. was not considered no, no. a holy book? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Prove Prove it. Show me an early church father or some source that says that the, the extra books that are in there were the word of God. No, no, no. You misunderstood the question I asked you. No, Listen question. to the question, maybe you'll understand. At the time, in the fourth century, yes. when these books were written, did the people who write this book consider it to be a holy book? They regarded the gospels as God's word. They didn't regard the other God, the other extra books. As so why would they have it in the book then? Because they saw them as spiritual. As, as when you say spiritual, it means yes. from God, right? No, no. They saw no. The spiritual means 
you are from the no, devil. No, no, there were many books. Have you, have you read The Shepherd of Hermes? I haven't. No. If you, there's books there, like like um, uh, very, very sort of extra books that were read as spiritual manuals. When is it spiritual? And they were, I need to understand. Is it from no, God or is it not from God? No, because they weren't. So whom is it from? No. Hey, listen, because they weren't leaders. They weren't apostles or known of apostles. That doesn't answer my question. If you say that these books, The Shepherd of Hermes and the Epistle of Barnabas, are spiritual books. Right. Whom are they revealed from? Right. I'll, I'll yeah, how many how many quotes? Answer the question. No, no, no. The, the if you look at how many times the books, the extra books, the book that you mentioned in the other books, if you compare that with how many times the the gospels are quoted, the gospels are quoted thousands of times. These are the books. You're not answering quoted. my question. No, that's, that's you brief. say that these books are spiritual. Whom are they from? They're from various writers, but they're so not. The, you're saying men just wrote it and put it in the Bible. No, no, my, my friend. No, it's like it's like you it's like you've got hadith. No, no, but you know the Codex Vaticanus is a Bible. Do you not understand that? Yeah. yeah. At the time it, when the it was written, not, listen, not listen. Not at the time, Bible. by the way, when did the canonization take place? Before the Codex Sinaiticus or after? What do you mean by canonization? Canonization means these are apocrypha. These are revealed books by God. Well, it depends what school of thought you, 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 you're. I'm asking you, well, well, based well, on tell, your belief. I'm telling you, there's two two things, two ways of looking at it. First of all, if you look at the quotations of the early church fathers before there was even a canonization, an official canonization, there was all. Sorry, can we move away because these guys are shouting and. If you look, if you look, right, if you look at the early church fathers, right, for example, um, Ignatius, right, and many of the early church fathers, they're quoting Paul's epistles, they're quoting the, the gospels, right, and not only the gospels, they're quoting them all over the ancient world, regularly. If you look at these other books, right, whatever book it is, they're not quoting them regularly en masse around the ancient world, but the four gospels and the other epistles. So there was a canonization, not official that was going on before an official canonization. Okay. So the when did the canonization happen? The canonization uh, took later on. But, when? When? Give well, me an idea. Well, we have the Fourth century, no, third century? We when? have two main lists. We have one list by Origen and we have a list by Athanasius. Okay. And those lists, if you look at them, one the, the Origen list, uh, many scholars say is, is uh, um, you know, an interpolation. Someone's made it up, a fabrication. But new scholars are coming now, like Dr. Kruger, who are saying that no, it's not a fabrication. So we have an early, well, excuse me, we have an early source that shows us there was a list of, ca of canon of scripture that we have today. How old from, is that? from origin. That's about how, how 200 AD. Sorry, which AD? About 200 AD. Yeah. 200 AD. Yeah. So you you got a list of canonized book in 200 AD. Yeah, but it's not an official list. It's a list that was seen. It was seen by most people around okay. at that time. I think yeah. I need to rephrase the question because it looks like they are all over the place. The Bible that you have today, the books you have today. How many books? How many books are in your Bible? Uh, 66. Okay, so you're not a Catholic because the Catholics have 73. No, because the no because the spiritual, spiritual I'm not, books. I'm not saying you're a Catholic because you got 66 books. I know you're not a Catholic. That's what I'm saying. The Catholics have 73 books. Yes. Uh, the uh, Orthodox, I think the Eastern Orthodox, they probably have got more than 80 Mike, books. Can, can just wait, Mike, will you go and get my files? Will you go and get my files? Come do yeah. If you just go and get my files, I'll get you my files now. I'll get you my sources now. That's fine. That's fine. Really, you, you don't go, need files. I know no, that yeah, the no, Christians no. agree. That they got different no, books depending on the sect you believe in. My green one, green one yeah. my green one. If you go and get that, yeah. and yeah, you just bring that. I've got all my sources. Oh, yeah, you just yeah. wait a second, no problem, and no problem. I'll get your sources. But I'm agreeing with you. Look, you got 66 books. That's fine. The you other sects, like the Catholics and the uh, and the uh, Orthodox, they got different number of books. It's a show us, bro. Yeah, yeah. I thought and did someone else's Bible? Can someone just hold that? Okay. Go on, I'm listening. Just give me my phone. I've got my sources in here. No yeah. problem. Right, man. Right. I'll show you this, yeah? What is this? <laughs> oh my God. It's an encyclopedia. I'll show you this, yeah? No problem. What are you showing me, by the way? You showing me right. the number of books? No, I'll show you this. Yeah? Okay. Which one? About the different books, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> These are early church fathers and the extent that they quote the Gospels and other literature that you're mentioning. And if, if you look, if you look at like all these other Gospels, the Gospel of Thomas, Gospel of Truth, Gospel of the Twelve, all these extra books, yeah, you look at the quotations, these are early church fathers across here, they're not quoting them as much as if you can see Gospel of Mark, Gospel of Acts, you can get that on camera. 
I've got it on camera, yeah. But the point Sorry. I'm asking you... Can I just finish? Can I just finish? Yeah, but you're, you're not... not, not this, is, this is important. So what that categorically shows, yes. what that categorically shows, is that before there was even the canonization, they were already seeing them as scripture. Okay. okay. So you, when was the canonization? That was the question I asked you. I've got the timeline, I have the Bible. And you said 200 years, because I think it's even beyond that. Do you want the no, timeline? It was official. It was official. When you say official, means official. Who has the right to decide which books are in the Bible and which are not? Who, who makes that decision? Well, the, the, the leaders at the time, the bishops at the time. I've got the time. Like, the time. When you say the bishops at the time, did somebody give them this permission that they have the right to decide? No, these are apocrypha, no, 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 these are genuine. No, 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 this is what I'm trying to prove to you. I'm trying to prove to you and I've proved it here. Well, you, proved, you just said how many times being quoted. No, I'm showing you. Being quoted, no, being quoting something no, from an apocrypha no, itself shows that there are some yeah. proof in the apocrypha. No, 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 this is proof. That's a kind of proof. Sorry. Let me show you. Let me show you. Right. You showed me. Before the canonization, it was already a canonization. When? 